Kill the Bill protesters across the UK march today as the controversial police and crime bill continues its journey through Parliament. Trespassing would become a crime, but travelling communities worry they could find their homes seized. We were born into this life, you travel. It's in your blood. It's who you are. Why does the law say I can't do it? You know, why? Why is it always put on us? I am an Irish traveller. I travelled all my life. Every day it took you on an adventure to somewhere else and you had a different story to tell. It's quite exciting, you know, you miss all that. In my lifetime it has become much harder to travel. As the years went on when I had the kids, the thing that stuck in my mind the most was having to move in the middle of the night. Because in the day if you moved in you were fear of people coming out, you know, and uh, causing an argument. We shouldn't have had to done that because there should have been stopping places for traveller communities that was on the road. It was embarrassing to move at night time because you, you were hiding your way of life and you were being, you were being, you were made to be, feel like a criminal just trying to live. So I knew, I said, I won't do it to my kids. I'd like a base where I could put them into school. So we start fighting for the first sight. This is our homes. We'd like everyone to see our nice site. We're very proud of it. As you can see, we're in a built-up area here in Hackney. We have the local shops, the local doctors, the local boxing club. Everything is very nice within our area. So um, I'll take you a little tour of it, guys. It's a six-pitch site. There's six bungalows and two pitch holders. I have myself living here. My mother-in-law. My mother-in-law lives here. My sister, my sister-in-laws, and cousins. What's special about living on a site is because we're all family. We're very, very, um, you know, we're very open. We're very welcoming people. I just see we're very friendly dogs here as well. <laughs> Everyone is loud, everyone is over one another, everyone's talking, and you know, everyone is watching out for everyone. This is a way of life, and this is what you should be able to live. Come on. My mother in law's famous soda cake. She's baked this first this morning, it smells quite fresh and it's still hot. Everyone's front door is open. There'll be people popping in here looking for cups of milk, and they'll just open the fridge. Is the dog in? This is Bernie's home. Bernie sleeps in here all day long. <laughs> Bernie travelled all his life, didn't you, Bernie? I did, yeah. Yeah. Whenever he comes Had in he... there, and we used to get a lot of chasing about us by getting run from the yeah. to post and forever. You know? Yeah. It's hard with the police sometimes. When I stay long in a place, live long in a place. Mm. Yeah. Be here today and go on tomorrow to a different area. Every day of our life, we're facing discrimination. I hid for years that I was an Irish traveller. When people used to ask me when I was quite young, but I just said I was just Irish. We all face racism every day. I'm no different than any other mother that walks the road. I do the school run, I walk the dogs, I shop in Asda's. I have nine grandkids at the moment. I'm very proud of them. My nephew's caravan we have here. He's like homeless over the situation. He can't park the caravan on the road. He can't park it on the green. Otherwise, he will be impounded and he will have a he will be arrested. The housing crisis is a is a mess at the moment because there's hundreds of people on the waiting lists for housing. My kids are all living in um, temporary accommodation and um, council properties in Hackney due to the lack of no sites.
We don't feel we are represented the, the best way. No one talks up for us. We want to support the London Assembly members, the council, to back us on new sites, new stopping places. I would like to see the government stop putting more laws into place that's going to affect my community. You can see the damage they have done trying to ethnic cleanse us, that we have to live the government's way, not our way of life. And that's something that never will happen with Gypsy and Traveller community, because we will never change. We are here and we're here to stay. Thank you.